Are they really boosting? Don't vote invasion. Don't vote invasion. Please don't vote it. Please. <laughs> now watch. Watch this shit. We're gonna get something. Look at this. I ain't playing that map. Can't stand favela. Well, I don't know what's been with me recently, but I've just been I've been trying new things. Like a lot of new things. Like I've even tried using my left hand for once. I mean, it didn't work, but <laughs> no. But seriously, I've just been trying like all these different things. Like for example, when I played Final Fantasy, I'm still playing Final Fantasy. So yesterday I decided to go and play Starcraft. Fucking Starcraft. See, I was never that big on strategy games because I always just felt like people were ahead of me, like all the fucking time on those games. Because basically what I've come to learn is StarCraft is a game where it's basically you just try to anticipate what your opponent's going to do and then just build accordingly to that. And by build accordingly, you build something that counters what he's building and you have to do it in a faster time than him. I decided to watch a couple videos on how to, you know, do this no. shit. Because when you first load the game up and you just like look at everything, you're like, okay. Like nothing makes sense when you're looking at it. It's like Calculus 2+. Come on! What the fuck? Shit sounded like a mothership. I mean, I've been playing StarCraft a lot, but I didn't think I'd be, like, hallucinating. <gasps> what? What? Okay. All right. I did not expect to hit that triple. It didn't look like a triple. It didn't look like a triple when I took the shot. It's like a combination of rock, paper, scissors, and speed checkers. I don't know how else to explain it, and even if I did, it still wouldn't make any sense. So yeah, I'm just becoming an all-around PC elitist at this point. This! I have no words. Sometimes I'm actually scared to look through my comment sections and Twitter and everything because things like that are in there. I mean, those are better than go drink bleach or some shit like that, but I never thought I would be such a graceful dolphin until that. I even looked up some tutorials on how to play this shit and I, you know, I got a good grasp of it. I played a little bit of Halo Wars here and there. So when the dude's talking, explaining what he's doing, all you can hear on his keyboard is the whole time. When I'm doing it though, it's like, I thought I was doing okay, and then after watching that, no. No, I have no grasp of what the fuck I'm doing at all. I'm like a person that just discovered an oven. Pretty much everything have, you know, basic instruction on how to cook it, but actually doing it is a whole nother ball game. I mean, to be fair, I'm still not over the sound of my keyboard. I'm normally in a Skype call with other people that have the same type of keyboard, a mechanical keyboard, the ones that sound really fucking cool, and they could just not say a word the entire Skype call, and I could just listen to them type. It's like music to my ears. So yeah, StarCraft. I'm ass at it, like every other game. Phase dicks. <laughs> Oops. I didn't think that would land. I was on last. Honestly, right now, all I want to do is play StarCraft. I know if I go online and play against somebody else, I mean, I'll probably get mentally dismantled. It's worth it. It makes me feel like my brain is working as opposed to melting. It's like the difference between watching the History Channel versus, I don't know, Keeping Up With The Kardashians or some shit. Well, that's not true because Keeping Up With The Kardashians is extremely educational. I watch it for the plot. Plot. It's like me in anime. I'm not even ashamed. I watch edgy anime. Yep. You know, the anime that everybody assumes is every single anime, you know, with naked girls and basically cartoon porn every single time. It's a genre that's not every single anime. To be fair, I do watch some of it. <laughs> you ever watch a movie or a TV series or something like that, and you just want two certain characters to be together? You just felt like it was meant to be? But it just never happens because, like, the producers and writers of the show always want to make it, like, some sort of tragic love story or make you wish that something else happened just so you continue watching it in hopes of maybe having it happen. Like, I watched the entire Titanic movie just in hopes of Jack and Rose doing shit. I watched the entire thing, and then when it finally happened, I was like, YES! Get it, Jack! Get that shit! Well, that's basically what etchy anime is. Etchy meaning pervert. I'm a fucking pervert. I don't care. I mean, that's already known. They just get straight to the point. It doesn't do shit like these other shows where they basically just blue ball the living fuck out of you. These shows, man, it's like they promise you intercourse and then all they give you is a hand job with a leather glove on. The friction is just painful. It's like being promised a blowjob and using just teeth. I'd rather hump the shit out of a cheese grater. I'm sorry for all of you that are disappointed in me are now thinking that I'm turning into the biggest nerd in the world, but I told you guys already. I already had people that were disappointed in me for playing League of Legends. Starcraft is just, it's a it's on a whole other level. I like it. I'm sorry. Good game. After I play Term Dom, of course. Well, that wasn't fun at all.